afternoon and welcome to CT Style. It is Wednesday, January 15th. We are so happy that you are joining us. Today, we are over in the kitchen with our friends from Cast Iron Chef Chop House and Oyster Bar. We are talking brunch and we have a really fun show planned for you. Grace Gold is here. She is showing us ways to kick off 2020, making a better, healthier version of yourself. And we want you to look your best, of course. So, uh, a special treat happening today from Duncan. They just stopped by for a visit. Take a look at this. If you are crazed for glazed, Snoop Dogg has a new Duncan sandwich for you to try. Next week, the chain is selling the Beyond D.O. Double G sandwich. Now, it's a Beyond sausage patty with egg and cheese. Served on a sliced glazed donut. Sounds good to me. Duncan says it was inspired by the rapper's passion. We're talking about Snoop Dogg here for plant based protein and love of glazed donuts. He has a concert coming up this weekend and it is happening at the Dome at the Oakdale. And you have an opportunity to try that sandwich. Looks pretty good to me, but I'm going to save it for after the show. Today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy. That stunning Jeopardy finale, the battle to be the greatest of all time, going down to the very last question. And it doesn't matter your wager, 44,000. Ken Jennings, you are the champion. There you have it. Ken Jennings coming out on top, not only taking home the title of Jeopardy's greatest of all time, but also a cool million bucks. He defeated the former winners James Holsauer and Brad Rutter in the game show's first ever GOAT greatest of all time tournament that happened last night. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame announced its 2020 inductees. Depeche Mode, the Doobie Brothers, Whitney Houston, Nine Inch Nails, the Notorious B.I.G., and T-Rex will be joining Rock and Roll's exclusive club. A band or performer can't be nominated until 25 years after their first album is released. The 35th annual Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony takes place May 2nd in Cleveland, Ohio. You could watch that live on HBO. Well, a 44-year-old Japanese billionaire wants to find someone to love to the moon and back. According to his website, fashion mogul Yusaka Mazawa wants to find a life partner saying feelings of loneliness and emptiness have, well, they've set in. In his appeal for love, he said he would want that person to fly to space with him. Now he's talking about SpaceX's maiden tourist voyage to the moon in its big Falcon rocket. That's scheduled to happen in 2023. So if you are interested, you have to be at least 20 years old. You have to have a bright and positive personality and be someone who wishes for world peace. You also have to hurry because the deadline to apply for this gig, it's January 17th, and he will make his choice at the end of March. Well, listen to this study, ladies. If you hate bugs, Science says you could hate facial hair on men as well. The study from the Royal Society of Open Science found that the reason behind it may be the evolutionary fear that beards could carry ticks, bugs, and lice. However, the study overall did show that very masculine faces and those with beards were rated more attractive than clean shaven faces. There you have it. Well, get this, a teen politician in Maryland is making a name for himself with an unusual platform, better toilet paper for all. Sayaki Frazier is the newly elected student body president at Cabin John Middle School, and his first order of business, well, to get the school toilet paper upgraded. He took his two-ply TP plea straight to the school budget officials. It feels rough as sandpaper and very thin, which has led to many uncomfortable circumstances for students. Now, Frazier's proposed upgrade would require an annual budget increase of about $31,000. It's not clear if the 14-year-old's proposal will make the cut. Well, if you are looking for something fun to do with the whole family this weekend, Disney on Ice presents Celebrate Memories. It is coming to the XL Center in Hartford. We are going to bring you a preview tomorrow, but it is going to run all weekend long through Monday, January 20th. A lot of schools are off that day. So grab the Mickey ears. For more information, you can go to DisneyOnIce.com.